on Easter Sunday, BioWare decided that they were going to celebrate a holiday, although they didn't mention Easter at all. Not a single peep, no pun intended, about Easter on their timeline. Instead, this is what we get from BioWare. Today is hashtag transgender day of visibility. Trans people have always been part of our worlds. We're proud to support them both within our games and in real life. Hey, it's weird. You're so proud that you decided to lock down replies. Yeah. Doesn't that just scream we're proud to you, Jay, when 100%. you refuse to let anyone comment on something like this? Well, since no one could comment, obviously, we got a lot of quote tweets. Locked replies, they know. It's Easter Bioware. Why are your replies locked? I can't say this one for Melanie. Yeah. Um, Dan Vask replies locked. The Leper's Bell announcing that cringe has been uttered. Quartering, I wonder why they closed the comments. Okay, but why lock the replies? Craig just says, happy Easter. Apparently, this is how Sega, <laughs> Sega wished happy Easter like a normal human being. I don't remember this, but looks yeah, fucking badass. Trans people have always been part of our worlds. Why are you, why are you always, always lying? lying? <laughs> like, they're getting fucking destroyed, and rightfully so. And rightfully listen, so. It, again, if like there's no mention of Easter at all, Right, They didn't do anything else on this day other than transgender day of visibility. People are fucking tired of this bullshit. People are tired of these companies that have no sense of their own values or morals or anything like that. And I mean, it's not really the first time we've seen this before from BioWare. Let's see. This is June 1st, first day of Pride Month, 2022. BioWare supports trans rights, women's rights, bodily autonomy, diversity, equity, inclusion are cornerstones for our studio and games. We don't consider these human rights up for debate. Our support is unwavering for our people. We're committed to expanding our benefits for U.S. employees and eligible dependents. Our aims to provide care, support, and services for health and well-being of our people. Man, you're so proud to do this, but once again, you lock the replies. Anytime you mention queers or gays or trans people, whatever the fuck, you seem to not be very proud of that. You seem to lock down your replies instead of letting people talk about it. It's because they've hired people on their team. And so now they have they have no choice like to do stuff like this when they know that. Yeah, like you said, we are freaking tired of this. This is just so stupid at this point. Here's the list. All right. It, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on the history. I mean, it just doesn't stop. Transparent Day, Intersex Day of Remembrance, Transgender Awareness Week. Trans- I mean, it just doesn't stop. International Asexuality Day on April 6th. Yeah, wow, that's coming I'm, up. I'm sure the children of all those asexuals out there are going to be really proud that their parents. Oh, wait, um, I guess that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it just like, what the heck? do they want they're like looking for different days on the calendar hey we don't we don't own anything in january let's uh let's take over president's day or something i care more about national pizza day than i do about any of these other fucking made up bullshit holidays Mm -mm. but bioware clearly cares about that one and they're clearly showing everybody that they don't care what their actual audience wants they're going to continue to virtue signal you know if you really mean it If you really mean it, Bioware, I hope all your Bioware Middle East accounts turn your rainbow shit, your trans flags, do all that shit, all that propaganda. I hope you do it in the Middle East, too. Uh, At least then you'd actually mean it. But somehow I don't think you do. I don't think they will.